Hello again everybody. Um, in this video I wanted to talk a bit about uh, well these new mazes that um, that I've created. The idea with these mazes is it should give you um, an opportunity to practice um, using orthogonal tracking and that's using orthogonal tracking not only in a 2D sense in these mazes over here but in an isometric sense um, and so yeah in trying to uh, be as fun as possible instead of just drawing shape after shape after shape until you kind of understand what's going on I thought uh, I'd try and make the most of a, a different format um, so you can see I've currently got my crosshair uh, is it has an isometric aspect. If I run it over the corner of this screen, you can see oh, the corner of this shape. You can see it's aligned with the um, with the edges of the shape. Um, I've done this by changing my snap settings. So you can change snap settings by right clicking on the uh, snap settings down at the bottom. And I might have mentioned this um, in the lecture on isometric circles. You have this snap type here, rectangular or isometric just so that you can see the difference. If I change back to rectangular snap, you can see my crosshair is now um, truly orthogonal. It's running straight up and straight across, like we have in this plan section of the view over here. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about was orthogonal mode. So orthogonal tracking lets you draw lines only at the principal axis, so straight up, straight down, um, and around. When you've got the isometric snap turned on, you're then able to draw um, orthogonal isometric lines. Um, but anyway, just to give you an opportunity to practice, um, I know some people like mazes, some people are probably very put off by them. Mazes are probably good to help your general geometric understanding of things anyway. Um, what shall I start with? Okay, so well, there's orthogonal mode itself, which is just to snap around um, between these lines. You can see if I, if I turned orthogonal mode off and I was trying to click around here, I'd end up with very messy um, snaps. I wouldn't have nearly as as nice and, and neat um, a pathway, as nice and neat of a pathway if I didn't have orthogonal mode on. So you can get a bit of practice with this. You might notice as well that your cursor will keep trying to snap to places. This is one of those circumstances where um, object snapping is probably best turned off. Anyway, the top-down maze, it goes on for quite a while. Um, you might uh, enjoy doing that and get some practice with um, orthogonal tracking at the same time. Now the other um, point that I wanted to mention was that we can do the same thing. If I turn this isometric snap on, you can see my cursor's now changed back here. Um, I've tried to, I don't know, <laughs> get the the idea of your, your goal for these puzzles is to get this little robot, let's say this looks like a robot, um, from point A to point B in all the puzzles. Um, so we can kind of snap from A to B in this case. Um, again, if I keep orthogonal tracking on, you'll see that I'm now tracking out at only the um, orthogonal lines in my sort of XY plane. Um, what I'm mentioning in this panel is that the, I guess, the rules of this maze, if you can see one of these little circles, then the robot can snap to those circles. So I'm just kind of sort of introducing some of the concepts of the maze. Um, you'll see here as well, we've got an X, Y, and a Z direction in these mazes. So it starts off just being in the X, Y plane. You can see where we've got this, this hatch pattern in the background here. Um, that's in, always on the X, Y plane. X being red here, Y being green. Um, so that's where most of the mazes will take place. And after a while, we start to get a little bit more complicated. We start to travel around um, in the uh, Z direction as well. Um, so what I was kind of saying here, again, to try and get some practice with isometric and also to get um, a feel for orthogonal and, and how that works, I was trying to make the argument that let's say the robot is only very simply programmed. He can't uh, work out a line that isn't drawn purely along the X or Y direction. So basically you have to use orthogonal tracking to guide the robot around. When he gets to this last point, you can just snap to B. You don't have to worry about trying to get that perfect. Um, and of course the robot can't fall down holes and he also can't climb over walls. Standard maze rules apply. Um, so that's pretty much all there is for, I guess, the um, the instructions in the maze. After that, you then get onto some of the actual mazes, and you can sort of puzzle your way through these. Um, like I said, they start out just being in the XY plane, and after a while we start to get a little bit more complicated. We're going up and down, and um, and then I think we get even more complicated when we start changing the gravity in these 
panels, so gravity starts pointing in a different direction. Um, anyway, I'm hoping that if you have a play through these, you'll um, improve your understanding of isometric, um, you'll improve your understanding of orthogonal mode, and maybe pick up a bit of speed with CAD in general. Um, so yeah, please do give those a try. I think they'll be um, a good learning tool that isn't just repetitively drawing things. Thanks for watching.